So with that opening, we'll go on to hear from Allison Goldwyn. When astronaut Edgar Mitchell gazed out at our planet from deep space, his transcendent overview experience forever changed his perceptions about the world around him and within him. Our global dysfunctional family called humanity hurtles through infinity on a tiny spit of homeland called Earth, all searching for the same ultimate thing, a sense of comfort, purpose, and worth. Wars have been fought over this. Discoveries have been made because of this. We found water on the lunar surface and launched humans into the universe, attempting to vivify our relevance within the mysterious depths of a cosmos that both fascinates and frightens. Yet we know so little about the world that inhabits us and enlightens. Imagine if we can inspire our new storyline from the insight out. If we could rewrite history in three acts, what might it be? And would we even want an act three finale? Mother Earth is watching us. Father Time is clocking us. And humanity in sanity now beckons us to get spaced out and tuned in and perhaps to birth the miraculous. was supposed to be a sunny day and the water was supposed to be bright blue and glistening and there weren't supposed to be any people around. <laughs> kind of like humanity living on planet we. We're supposed to get along. There isn't supposed to be uh, social inequities or geopolitical riddles or pandemics and climate crises that turn us upside down on our axes. 
but that's the way it is. And we're going to have to learn to adapt, to coexist. Now, that seems like a riddle unto itself, given that there's so many of us with so many diverse backgrounds and belief systems, cultures, and nations. Now, I know when you watched that very cool teaser video for Synchronistry, it almost looked like an ancient artifact from a long-lost culture way back in 2019 A.D., God, how the world has changed so rapidly, and who knows what the world situation will be the moment that you watch this new filming. We don't know. What's really good, though, is that margin of possibility where we don't necessarily know. Is it breakdown? Is it breakthrough? Is it breakdown for breakthrough? Well, that's kind of up to us, isn't it? There's so many fantastic, extraordinary endeavors burgeoning across the worldwide spectrum. And they're there to help almost midwife us into a, a new world. But what is this world that we're becoming? Th these wonderful endeavors are like mortar holding us together. But what is this us that's being held together? Without having that context that perspective to understand what we're holding together, we'll never understand the beauty of all these individual endeavors and all these individual beings. I invite us to reimagine ourselves from the insight out and to think about sync like a message in the bottle tossed into the waters of modern times. <laughs> Like a prayer for humankind. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> and I hope that we will too in the coming years. Let's try to adapt and make something beautiful. Uplift, upshift. To me, uplift is buoyant. Upshift is bold. Uplift is like an inspiring mindset to complement upshift, which is a propulsion energetic, a world-changing, life-shifting, dynamic momentum that makes me think of rockets lifting off into the stratosphere. And lately we've become really enamored with space exploration, haven't we? But what about inner space exploration? Without this to complement the ride, our species will wind up lost in space, spaced out without being tuned in, ever cultish adolescents experiencing increasingly tough adolescence in this loony classroom of life. Most of us have experienced a relationship breakup, and whether the relationship with that individual or being was healthy or not, fulfilling or not, it was probably still hard. Breaking up is hard to do, as the song goes. Well, we're currently in a worldwide relationship breakup from an old paradigm to a new, from an unhealthy, largely narcissistic, and often lopsided relationship that denies the many and favors the few. Learning to love self, other, something greater is the only way through this mess of our humanness that we've not only inflicted upon one another, but other species. I mean, how, how many more epochs do we have to get this right? How many more redressings of the same ancient messaging before we accept our diversity as part of ultimate unity and ultimately align to every body on behalf of every being, to every parent or future parent on behalf of tender-hearted, mindful child-rearing, to every leader of nation and corporation, Let's use the power of our imaginations and leave a once-in-a-civilization legacy that leads with love and the gift of upshift. Thank you, Allison. Amazing. Wow. So